Seymour. And I'm Parnika Gajula. And we're both, both juniors, juniors at Northwest Cabarrus High School. So basically STEM is literally just like science, technology, engineering, and math. But in terms of this program, it's basically a way to become more hands-on because we do a lot of hands-on like problem-based learning like PBLs and stuff like that. Regular kids didn't get to go on the field trips that we got to go on when seeing job opportunities. So I think that's just like a really great advantage to have as yeah. a high school, right? The way STEM works is it's not really a class. It's kind of the way you work with people and all the groups you do. So it kind of really helps us see different perspectives throughout all of our time here. And it really lets us collaborate with different types of people. And it shows us a new type of way to kind of push boundaries and get like almost a new- Get like feedback, yeah. a yeah. lot of feedback from people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it'll definitely prepare us because of how much we've seen like different opinions and different perspectives through like all the things that we've done in the program. We'll be able to, you know, not have to adjust so much like when we go mm -hmm. to college. Yeah. We've done a lot of things in STEM. Mm -hmm. I think I think one of our favorite things was in freshman year when we did the boat competition for STEM day. Oh, yeah. That was definitely a really fun one. I, I went to the Microsoft office in Charlotte and we toured the entire place. We got to meet um, a bunch of like software engineers and we also got to like eat from their cafeteria. We <laughs> saw a lot of stuff. It was really yeah. cool. Yeah, those were definitely the best ones. Mm -hmm. Freshman year, you basically have to take two required classes, which are Intro to Technology and Design Discovery. And then sophomore year, you have one required class, which is Intro to Engineering. And then you have the option of taking your, obviously, second level CT course, which could be Drafting, Drafting 2. And then you could also take Principles of Engineering, or you just have to complete the STEM pathway before you graduate to get a STEM badge. Yeah. And so there are three different pathways. The first one is that one doesn't require a STEM portfolio, which is essentially like a kind of like a big Google sites mm -hmm. of everything that you did from ninth to 12th grade in STEM. But the second pathway, it is required. And with the second pathway, you're required to take at least four um, AP or CCP math and science courses. Mm -hmm. And then there's a third pathway, which I'm in, which is all of those, so at least four or four or more science or math AP courses, plus the, um, the AP capstone. So that's AP seminar and AP research. And once you complete those, then you get the capstone diploma uh, and the STEM diploma and the STOL. Mm -hmm.